Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create multi track looping for MIDI in Reaper. Now, the idea of multi track looping for MIDI is we can create multiple tracks, one track per part, to create simple melodies that play on top of each other using the same sound. This is a very inspiring way to write songs, just noodle around, or have fun. And it's a very quick way to write parts, as you'll see. So I have a project in front of me here, and I've already created a piano pad using a few virtual instrument plugins. I have a piano and then a pad, and they play on top of each other. So we'll hear both at the same time. Now to hear this, Let's change the input of our track to be MIDI. All MIDI inputs, all channels. Then I'll turn on record monitoring so we can hear the sound through this track and then go into record. But before we do that, instead of going to record, I'm going to right click and use this feature automatic record arm when track selected. So now if the track is selected, we're going to hear it. But when it's not selected, we won't. Which will make it easier when switching tracks as we loop recording. Next, we're going to turn on loop recording. Go down here to our transport and turn on toggle repeat. That's going to allow us to loop record. Then we're going to choose the area to record it or how long. I'm going to go from bar three to bar five and create a two bar loop. But we can make this as long as we want. Then we'll go to the options menu and make sure we're in record mode normal. And then down here for new recording, make sure this is turned on. Splits existing items and creates new takes. It is the default, but if it happens to change, make sure you put this back. This is going to create new takes on every loop. Now, because my keyboard playing isn't that good, I'm going to quantize on the way in. So I'm going to right click over here, go to my input quantize settings. Now let's turn on input quantize for eighth notes. So it's going to quantize on the way in to correct my playing. So now we're ready to record. Now it's going to record over and over again in this area from bar three to five. And when we're happy with each part, we're going to come out of record, choose the take that we're happy with, which would probably be the last take, crop to that take so we can keep it and then move on to the next track by duplicating that track, deleting what's on that track, and recording again. So the first time through, we're going to do this manually, step by step, but afterwards, we're going to create a custom action that's going to do it all in one step, as you'll see. But the first time through, we'll go through each step together. Let's first turn on the metronome so I can keep time with the song tempo. We're going to record and record our first part. Then we'll come out of record. Here's our good take, select it, right click it, crop to the active take, now we just have the take we like. Then we could duplicate it right here. Delete the duplicate. Go back into record and record our next part. Come out of record, choose the previous take. Then we're going to crop to the active take. So we just have the one we like. Duplicate again. Clear it. Go back into record. And record another part. Go 
Go out of record. Choose this take. Crop to this take. And record another one. Delete it. Go into record. Go out of record. Choose the good take. Crop to it. And we'll record one more. Duplicate. Clear it. Go into record. Choose the previous take. Crop to it. Go out of record. Let's turn off the click. And there's our track. We created five parts very quickly using just one sound. As you can see, there's a lot of steps in between. We can make this quicker with a custom action. Let's go to our actions and show the action list. And let's create a custom action to do this all in one step. We'll go down here to new custom actions. Then we'll type in our filter, transport record. Move this one to this side. So it's gonna punch out after we perform a good performance. Then the next step, we're gonna switch items to the previous take right over here which should be the best take, as we're gonna do this after we're happy with the previous loop. Bring this over. Next, we're gonna add crop to active take, right over here, which is gonna crop or remove all the bad takes, just keeping the good one. Then we're gonna duplicate our track so we can start recording on a new one. Bring this one over. Then we're gonna select all items on that track, right over here. Then we can delete them or remove them in the next step. Right over here, item, remove items. That's gonna remove all the duplicate items on the duplicate track. So we can start recording on that track. And then finally, we're gonna go into record. So we're gonna add again, transport record. Bring this over. Now it's gonna perform all these actions with one keyboard shortcut. Let's give it a name, multi-track looper. Shows up right here. Let's give it a keyboard shortcut. I'm gonna use Control D, but you can use any keystroke that you prefer. Now let's clear all this. So we can start again, but this time, every time we're happy with each part, we're just gonna hit that keystroke and it's gonna perform all those actions very quickly. So let's give it a shot. Pretty cool. And just like that, with one keystroke, we can move from track to track, creating a new part on top of the previous one. Creating interesting patterns or performances 
or melodies very quickly using the same sounds. So that's pretty much it. That's a multi-track looper for MIDI in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!